<clears throat> two, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, three. Hope everyone can hear me. Um, there's a question and answer thing on the side there. It says, ask your audience to submit questions and they will appear below. So um, if you want to uh, let me know that you can hear me, that'd be fantastic. Hopefully you can hear me. Can anyone hear me? Just uh, let me know. Um, I'll uh, get the ball rolling. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Rob McClay and I am uh, the owner of McClay Workshops. Uh, we've been around for about 15 years and uh, I teach after school classes in drawing cartoons and comics and I've also just started doing online classes uh, so this is what this one's all about. Um, so I still don't see any questions happening here, so I'm kind of hoping that uh, you guys can hear me. Um, can you hear me? If not, send me an email or, 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 or do something like that. Uh, yeah, so the types of courses that I do run after school are basically uh, two-hour workshops and learning how to draw cartoons. Um, I Big ups to everyone who uh, has come from all around the world, by the way. Thank you very much for turning, uh, tuning into the session. Um, yeah, so I run a whole bunch of drawing classes, I've got online courses, I've got uh, video uh, critiques, if you want some critiques done. Um, who's this workshop for? Well, basically, it's a beginner's workshop, okay, and um, the if you are new to drawing, this is perfect for you, but if you've been drawing for a little while, but just need some help with it, uh, that's okay, so uh, I can uh, sort of run through a few processes with you. Why am I doing this today? Simply because I just want to uh, test out to see how many people will be watching this uh, video. And and if you don't, if you've missed, if you've missed it, you can always watch it on YouTube a little bit later on. So um, yeah, it's all good, all good in the hood. So those who are just turning up now, I see we've got. Oh, yep, the viewers are uh, popping up there. Um, after this uh, workshop, if you want, I offer a, a little bit of a professional critiquing service. So if you've got some drawings that you've done, um, oh good, someone's heard me. Aaron, thanks mate. <laughs> uh, I, I run a little critiquing service, so if you want some um, drawings critiqued uh, for a small tenor, I can uh, critique something for you. And if you want something, if you want a video critique, I can uh, a little bit extra and um, pay a little bit extra and I can do that for you too. But I'll send you a link at the end through through Eventbrite, and you can sort of um, go from there if you want with a PayPal um, PayPal link. But yeah, today's all about just learning how to draw some cartoons, having a bit of fun. Um, I've broken it down into three parts. Uh, obviously, the intro is one of them. Uh, I've got a, the second part is drawing. Uh, we've got a warm up session for about fifteen minutes, learning how to warm. Warm up before you draw. It's like uh, exercising before you play um, sport or whatever. Um, I always like to do some some warm ups. And the second part of the drawing workshop is character studies. This is my favourite. Uh, I've got three popular cartoon characters ready to go, and you'll see me break them down. Uh, I'll deconstruct them for you. So uh, yeah, pretty cool there. And lastly, we may do, if we've got some spare time, um, we do some questions and answers, or you want me to draw something, we'll just go from there, play it by ear, but uh, pretty cool stuff there. Um, so feel free to talk to me in that little questions bar on the side, so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself for a whole hour. Um, it's a bit weird, you know what I mean? If you tried doing that, it's a bit weird. So here we go, I'm going to move on. Let's start getting into some warm-up sessions. Hopefully everyone's got some pencils and paper ready to go. If you haven't, you're silly, go get some. All right, pencils and paper. Here we go. Um, so this is me, McClay Workshops Cartoon TV. Um, you, if you go to my website, if you go under the update section, you'll see um, some videos here. They're more for the seven to twelve year old bracket, but uh, the oldies can look at it too. Um, it's more fee, but um, you can download it if you want. Um, here we go. So this I'm using Sketchbook Pro, by the way. It's a great program. Um, let's start off with some warm ups. And the first warm up we are going to do. Oh, go away. Oh, you see that? Oh, go away. Wait. What are you doing? Hide that. Hide that. Hide that one. That's the. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing later on. 
Okay, so currently I'm in my Sketchbook Pro program, so I cannot see if you ask me questions. Okay, so I will flick back and forth, but the first thing I want to talk to you about is um, warm ups. Okay. Now, the, uh, when you start drawing characters, you'll be using shapes. And the most popular shape that you'll be using is a circle. So it makes sense to learn how to draw the perfect circle. Now, you'll notice that I don't do a one-off line. Um, I rotate about six times. And I'm rotating from my shoulder. So what I want you to do is on your piece of paper is to start drawing these circles. And I'll explain to you the best process. So um, rotate three times before you hit the ground and then rotate three times once, you hit, once you're on the ground. It's like a helicopter uh, landing on the ground. So go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're like you're warming up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this is really weird when no one's talking back. Uh, hopefully someone's listening. So, yep, what I want you to do is just flip your whole page full of circles. Uh, you should have an A4 sheet of paper. Um, you should be using like an HB or a B pencil, by the way. And uh, you, sh you should be prepared to be making lots of mistakes. Right? So we go through and start doing these circles. Once you've sort of mastered these uh, these circles, you can change the, the shape of them. So you can go small, small, large, and so forth like that. So fill up your whole page full of circles. You should get about 20 to 25 on your page. And I'm going to flick back to see if there's any questions being asked. No questions! Look at that. If you want to say hi, just put some questions in there. Um, if you do need to leave throughout this workshop, as I said before, it's going to be uh, online as well. So, um, yeah, cool stuff. Who's that? Go away, Christopher. <clears throat> Once you've mastered the circle, you want to go to the oval. Now, bear in mind, it's just a warm-up session. And it just it just gets your hand-eye coordination working. If you try and start drawing things perfectly straight away, it's never going to work. So there you go. You've got circles and ovals. Uh, we're going to turn these into faces very soon. So I'll give you another minute or so just to fill out your page full of circles and ovals. And then go from there. Okay. Let's do some, do some doodling while you're waiting. These lines that I'm doing here are called guidelines. This is where these are where your eyes sit. Hi, Christopher again. What are you, what are you, are you talking to me? Or maybe um, someone's talking to me. If I go there and leave out of there, and uh, just bear a minute, I'm going to just see so, asking me questions. Do I press play? How do you talk, Christopher? Um, I'll ask some of your questions. You can't talk. Uh, uh, I can only talk. You can only listen. Okay. Uh, it's not Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is where you can. This is Google Air. You can only watch. Sorry, mate. You can always ask me questions later on. Hey, where am I? Okay. Here I am back again. Uh, yeah, so a whole bunch of circles and ovals. Start getting some guidelines on there. So these are, your, these are where you chuck your eyeballs. You know, you got these, hi, man, how's it going? Or, hey, man, over here and right here. All right. Oh, hello, Filmatic Space. Did you just email me? I'll just see what you want. <clears throat> do you always warm up before you draw anything? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, pretty much, well, I do about 15 minutes of warm up. Phil, Matic, Space. <laughs> so you should be just copying me, adding in your guidelines. Bear in mind that these guidelines should be super light. Don't draw like the Incredible Hulk. Okay, if you've seen the Incredible Hulk draw before, he's not very good. He tends to draw a little bit hard, like. Cool. All right, so you've got your circles, you've got your ovals, and you're starting to add your construction, your guidelines. Um, 
Just choose, say, your top five circles that you got there. Hey, man, let's go. All right, so all these are faces. Let's see, I'll just answer Christopher's uh, question. Yes, he does. Oh, it's another question. Mm -hmm. So the new people that are uh, just coming in now, this will be saved on YouTube later on. So I'll send you a link via Eventbrite. Okay, so you've got your circles on there. Now just start adding your eyeballs. Have a bit of fun with it. So we'll work with this head here. You've got your these types of eyeballs. Just experiment with shapes and sizes. Ooh, everyone looks a bit surprised. This one here has got no sort of shape to it. Just a couple of dots there. It's just a style. A little bit closer together, or you can go a little bit further apart. Ooh. Oh, I hate it, does it? Flip me right over. This is Sketchbook Pro, by the way. Um, it's about four bucks a month. It's a subscription based software and I use it with my Wacom Cintiq and it's the best bit of software that I've ever used in my entire life. It beats Photoshop hands down if you just want to draw. Okay. So that's your warm up there. Um, and then next thing you want to do is add, it, add, some no, add a nose and a, and a mouth. So just go through and use a template mouth like that. Or do whatever mouth you want to do. Once again, it's an experiment. Uh, let's go here, we'll go He's shouting, hey, did you steal my waffles, man? Hey. I mean, this guy's just smiling. All right, so quite simple there. So this is something that you can do for you get into your major drawings. Okay, so moving on to the next warm-up session. Uh, I call this guy Basic Shape Guy. So get a new piece of paper. Basic shape guy is this fella here. He's a real simple character to draw. And what this guy does is he helps with poses. And we're going to put him into 10 different poses. He's going to be doing something. And I'm going to get you to finish it off for me. I guess a basic shape guy, very, very simple. He's made up of a circle, a rectangle, and arms and legs. And it's just a simple, simple character. Okay. So we'll just get rid of him. <clears throat> Actually. Hi. Hey, Dada. Now. On your piece of paper, just draw some landscape in. Um, something random like this. This is the landscape that your character is going to run across and do cool things in. And you're going to have about 10 poses here. So the pose one is going to start here. So all you got to do is just follow me. And then you're going to sort of, I'm going to do five of them and you're going to finish them off. So. Just check to see if anyone's asked me any questions. Cool. Pose one. Just standing, looking at the problem that he's about to face. Maybe there's some sort of shark here. In, a, in the water. It's got to get over it. You've got to draw this guy here, running across there, and there's 10 poses you need to draw. All right, so pose one, he's there. Next pose is he's just jumped off. So this is the advanced version of a stick figure man. Boom. Pose three, he lands on there like, but like old uh, Thor or something. The Avengers. Okay. So what I want you to do is start having to go at drawing pose four. What does he do in pose five? What does he do in pose six, seven, eight, and whatever like that. So this is just another warm up tick. And what you're doing is you're just using the same shape here. I'll use a different color here. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Come here. Red. Got this shape here, and this shape here. And this, oh. and you got this shape here. They're all basically the same shapes. So all you have to do is add the rest of these poses. So let's say we move on to pose number four. Maybe he's pulling himself up a little bit higher. Rub that out. He's reaching for whatever it is he's reaching for. And maybe his other legs hanging. Pose four. Okay, so you get the idea. And this is another great warm up. Um, session or technique. So each drawing should take no longer than two minutes. So if you've got any questions about this, just ask, ask me in the uh, Google forum there. In pose five, maybe he's just about to jump into the water. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to leave you with that. You can do. You can finish it off later on. Uh, but we're going to move on to character studies. Okay. So character studies is learning how to draw popular cartoon characters. So we're going to start off with these guys here. Boom. Mm, I like. And I presume you know who these guys are. Um, oh, I've just forgotten the name. Um, yeah, anyway, you know, I'm going to draw one of these guys and maybe even two of them. I'm going to show you how to uh, break them down to shapes and the processes of starting from start to scratch, start to finish. Now, the key here is to draw super, super light. Okay, so if you draw dark at the beginning, let's see if we're going to draw this fella here. If you draw, draw too dark at the beginning, you're going to just be have one big messy drawing. But if you keep it nice and light at the beginning, um, it's going to help you to draw the character better. Okay, so let's look at this character and see the shapes that he's constructed with. Now I see this. I'll do a bigger version of him. A circle for the head and a shape for the body like that. So that's his main shape. Next thing you want to do is find a center line. So very lightly draw a line down there like that which is right through there. And then you want to find his eye line. So this is basically a template way of drawing. You look for the basic shapes, then you add the guidelines, and you go from there. The next big shape that I see would be his nose. So I'm going to just throw it in there, like so. And add his eyeballs, like that. Ears. And then I'm going to add his feet. All right, so very, very simple shapes. There's no detail whatsoever yet. The reason why I do this is because if I want to turn this character around later on, all I've got to do is say, move that nose over, and all I do, all I do is this. And now I've turned his head around virtually, but that's later on. More advanced, man. Okay, next thing we want to do is add his arms. So, Basic line there, it's like his bone. And then we're gonna head his hands like so. Eyeballs and then his mouth. Cool, looking good. And don't forget his tail, so you can start off with a real light sort of sketchy line like that, keep it light, and then you add the thickness to it. So when it comes to drawing, there's so much to learn, and so many techniques to learn that I think the best way to learn techniques is as you draw. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single technique that I know, otherwise I uh, will never, never finish. But I think it's best just to go through and draw characters and learn the techniques as, as you draw the characters. And then you add in a little few pieces of detail, and I would colour it in, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what I do is I just create a new layer and uh, start adding colour. <laughs> He's a little bit fat, actually, but anyway. From here, I would just create a new layer 
or if you're just using paper, uh, you can rub out, rub out, um, use a pen and rub out your lines if you're using pencil. But this is basically what I would do if for those people who are interested. So we'll just go and do a clean up. This is an animation technique. So you'll clean up your rough lines and so forth. A little bit thick there. So I'll leave that for later on. Right, getting the idea. Uh, let's have a go at drawing Eight Man. I don't actually know his real name. Once again, we're going to look at the shape structures. So if I just draw over this guy with a new red, these are the shapes that I see. Why are you so low? There we go. Shape two, and then got his torso. Now find the center line and arms and legs and shapes as well. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. So I just get rid of those. Bye. Get rid of those. So remember to start super, super light and identify the shapes. Oh, we'll use a black pen. <coughs> Hello, black pen, how you doing? You're right. And, damn. No way, there you go. All right, that's much better. Okay, let's start off with the head, so. I always begin with the head, because it's how I've always done things. I don't know why, but it's there. And then you've got, I usually call that the skull. And then I've got the cheeks, and then I've got the the outside part of the head. I'm just drawing this fella a little bit bigger. I might run out of room. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn how to use this. But again, easier. Center line, cheeks, and then the head. All right. This is all about sort of making sure all the shapes are correctly proportioned. If you don't know what proportions means, uh, basically it's just making sure that your character's head is the correct size compared to the shape of the torso. And I'll explain it a little bit more further on. Shoulders, arms and hands, and then you've got the legs. Okay, so this this is the basic breakdown of the sh of the character. I may need to adjust it later on, but this is good enough to start off with. Um, now, if I just start bring this down a bit, I may need to just redraw it a little bit. Okay, here we go. My right, here we go. Working on the details. So I'm utilizing the shapes that I drew before. And the reason why I draw, draw shapes is to make sure everything's in the right place before I start doing any detail. You've probably drawn pictures before. Uh, without using shapes, you try to draw it perfectly straight away, and what's going to happen is that you'll get things in the wrong place. And uh, that happen, will happen all the time if you don't plan properly. There we go, look at that. I'm not really sort of worried too much about making it identical. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. But you can sort of see what's happening here. Now, this guy's got, look at this guy, because his man boobs. So, we're going to put a line in there just to help me to plan it a bit better. Maybe drop it a little bit. And there's this line here. Okay, that's his, uh, where his first starts. So, you throw that in there, and then you can add in your details later on. And it sort of pops around there. 
got his abs, and it comes down to his pants. So I'm using the shapes that I've drawn initially. So I know they're in the right place, now I've just got to just learn how to copy properly. And it's a whole other workshop, by the way. Hands, I tend to start off with a little circle like that. Have a bone going on, and then I break it into a simple, simple shape. All right. And from here, you potentially might need to draw again to make it more beautiful. But that's generally, um, that I'll call that a rough breakdown. Oh, got a little fella's hair. Look at them. All right, and that's how you draw that fella. Now your warm-ups, um, your basic shapes and your characters should take no longer than two minutes. If they're going any further than two minutes, then you're sort of you're um, attacking it the wrong way. So the shapes are, are the basic breakdown, and they make your your drawing a lot easier to draw, and it keeps all the body parts in proportion. Okay, so cool. Let's move on to the next character. Let's see if any, anyone's asked me any questions. Oh, give him a hat. Okay, look at old Christmas going on there. He was in. All right, let's get on to do some adventure time. Hi, Ju. Bye bye. 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 Boom. Hello, fella. How you doing? This is Finn from Adventure Time. He's a bit of a tricky character. Um, simply because he is on an angle and he is running. So I call this an action pose as opposed to just a normal standing pose. Okay. So you want to try it. You've got to find the line of action. The line of action is this line here. That line right through there. It's the way he's angled. From here, you'll add in his, his main torso shape, which is a, generally a rectangle. Slightly curved. Look at that. I've drawn his ears there, but you can sort of draw his ears later on. Then you've got to break his uh, body down into a few parts. So you've got where his head starts and where his pants start. So that's one, two lines you've got to find. So it's a bit approximate. You just got to have a go, draw a line there, and then draw a line here, and that could potentially break it up into your three parts. Head. Torso and pants. Uh, next step, oh, go you. It's my father security. Arms and legs. So identify where the shoulders start. So it's approximate there. If you look, they go right through. So I'm, I'm going to draw a line like that right through, and that's going to give me an idea of where my hands are going to go. There's an arm. The so shoulder arm comes down and back up again, and there's the hand there. So it's just a light line at the moment. It's then drawing his bones for his arms and a circle for his hand. Then we've got his other hand over here. Next part is are his, are his legs. So identify where his legs start. So pelvic area is right here. Pelvic area is there. Draw a little mark there to start off with. And look at the curve of the leg. This is just the flow, the natural sort of flow of his leg. Leg one, and his other leg is doing something like that. So, have a go at it. Keep it simple, and this is the simple structure of your character. And the last part will be his bag. So, I just break it down into a simple shape. Like that. And then, add it there. Here goes the sword. I'm looking at lines, I'm looking at angles, as opposed um, compared to other lines and angles. And the next part is all about just completing your picture. It looks quite messy at the moment, but what I'm going to be doing is just making it a little bit lighter and then 
um, refining the lines later on. So let's work on his face. I'll just sort of, I might just create a new layer now. So adding the detail. Face is a little bit tricky, so this that's the eye line there. Eyes. Mouth. And I'm just gonna go and just tidy up my lines a bit. Now a little trick here that you can use is working on your silhouette. You see that line I just drew there, it's the silhouette of the character. So you've got a point right here. That you aim for, it comes around like that, and here should be your sword. We'll leave it up for later. I'm just gonna finish off his head. And come around like so. Now, so then people have just joined us today. We've got, I'm going to be saving this on YouTube. So if you do need to sort of um, go to the toilet or come back, it's all going to be here anyway. And uh, you better fast forward and rewind with the good juicy bits. So with the copying side of it, that comes with time. Um, you will learn how to become a great copier, how to make things look Identical to what you're drawing, but I'm not really going to get into that today uh, Simply because I don't you don't need to be a great copier It's all about starting learning with shapes learning how to draw shapes because that that's what's going to make you a great copier so After um, a while of drawing the longer you draw the less the less you do want to copy you want to start doing your own stuff So really doesn't really matter So I'm just utilizing my lines and shapes I drew earlier. Um, this is sort of like one of my, it's a, it's a draft cleanup. I'd probably do it again. Okay. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, Lucy's asking me a question. <laughs> right, and contrast. Now a little bit there. I've made it super black, and that's called contrast, and that sort of makes whatever it is in that little area there pop out. Uh, the details, like I'm not going to get too much into the details. You can sort of figure it out from there. But it's all about learning to draw with shapes, and that's what I wanted to get through today. Look at that! Boom. Add little bits of detail going through there, the dirt flying through the air. Cool bananas. Oh, I never get used to that. Yeah, so this bit of software is about four bucks a month. You can subscribe through Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Just go to their website and uh, download it. It's a great program. They're hard to use with a mouse, so you want to have a at least a pen, tablet. Very, very good. Okay, so there is my fin. Marvelous. Let us move on to our third character, if I can find him. What did I do with him? He's hiding. Oh, there he is down here. Aha. I just found this on Nickelodeon. The reason why I liked it because the shapes were characters are quite easy to draw. Uh, I might go with the little fella on the bottom right hand corner. I'll just move, move this over. I've changed everything. There we go. 
So we're going to be drawing this guy here. He's a really great character to copy because of the simple shapes that are used. So the first shape that I see, oh, we'll begin the line of action first. So this is sort of the curve of his body. And then you add shape of his head, and then the shape of his body. Answer some questions. Do a thing, give me a hand, do a thing, please, first of all. Right. So what I'm going to do with this character is use his shapes. I'm going to draw him, then I'm going to use his shape, draw, draw him again, and turn him into a different character, just to show you how easy it is to, uh, to attempt. So. Gets his eye line there. Throw on his eyeballs. Center line, maybe. And then his mouth. And some teeth. So you'll find that this is a template uh, face, so it can be used on all the other characters. So if you master this face, this actual bit here, you can just copy and paste it onto other characters that you do. Now the here you've got this bit here. So what I'm looking for is the line work, and where it sort of ends up compared to the other lines. And you've got that bit there. Once again, a simple shape. He's got a hat there. I'm just going to tidy up the lines a bit. So this guy's great to draw, he's super easy. And full of great shapes. And these are the sort of characters you should be starting off with. Hi bros. Okay, so nice rough drawing there. Now what I want you guys to try is to use the same shapes, but turn it into a completely different character. So I'm doing here. Okay, let's um, let's turn into someone old. We'll turn into an old man. Look like me. Oh. Oh. So I'm using the shapes that I, that I've copied off this character, and then uh, I am just going to make him a little bit older. And if I had color in here, I'd make his hair gray. He's probably got his uh, walking stick. Ah. On oh, my back. All right, some aging spots. All right, so your challenge would be to use those shapes. Once again, I'll draw them again. Head, body, and do whatever you want with it, okay? So turn, turn it to something completely different. Cool. Um, I might draw this lady here too. I think she's quite, quite nice. All the females out there. Do I have enough room though? Let's have a look. I'll just drag that over. Drag you. Oh, that's not you drag it over. Come on. Put that over there. That's going to give me some room. Make it a drawing layer. Okay, so the shapes that I see here, actually, I might try a little different way of doing this. Shapes that I see. That shape there, that shape there, that shape there, and you've got the legs and arms. Okay, so we hide that layer. This is what I see. And that's what I draw all the time are those shapes, simplified shapes of the characters. Then I have the detail. So shapes first, then detail.
Cool, yeah. So let's have a go at drawing this character. Uh, rub it out and give it a good shot. So what you can do with this one is to do what you did with the other character and use the same shapes but turn it into your own character. Okay, so. Oh, look, there's that circle. Amazing, eh? Guidelines, ears, uh, line of action, and you've got the torso, pelvic area, and then you've got the legs. Do you like my legs? And then the arms. Okay. Look at that. Simple, simple shapes. So you only spent what? How long did I spend on that? A minute? And that's how long you should be spending on this construction phase. If you spend any longer than two minutes sketching out a character uh, for its first initial stage, you are spending way too long on it. Way too long. The detail, when you go to make it a little bit nicer, that's when you slow right down. Okay, but this initial stage should be super quick. It's all about getting the energy in the character. Cool. So, as I said before at the beginning of the session, if you do want your drawings critiqued, I'm quite happy to do so. For a small fee, of course. Um, you know, maybe a 10 tenner. Uh, I'll send everyone a link. But it's always good to see where you're at. I can tell. I can automatically tell where you're at, um, just by looking at your drawings. Because I've been doing it for about fifteen years now, so I think I know what I'm doing now. Um, if you are interested in what I've done previously, I've I've published self-published about four books, learn to draw books. Uh, so if you go to my website and go to the shop, you can see a couple of them there. Uh, there are some other ones on Amazon. Um, and I've also done a picture book, which is not on my website. Self-published that. That was a mission. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions along those sides about self-publishing stuff, by all means, just post them in the forum. Hopefully, um, some of you guys may use this, these techniques, um, create a great portfolio, and go to animational design school. Um, this, is, this will definitely help you get in if you are interested in that sort of stuff. Right, there we go. <clears throat> There's no point in me making these characters look identical to what you see here. Um, today's session is all about drawing with shapes and drawing quickly and being able to visualize and draw your character easily. Once you master shapes, you can quite easily just turn your character around. <clears throat> Let's say we want to turn this character around, all we do is use the same shape. And just change the angles. Now he's looking that way. Get the idea? And all I've done is just change the characters around. <laughs> hey Christopher, thanks for the questions, but uh, <laughs> I don't have time to draw that. Do, 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 do. Rightio, so um, those are the characters there. Um, I think I've actually gone through the three characters that I wanted to today. So let's just go over them one more time. Uh, we'll start off with these guys here. So remember, it's all about the shapes. Keeping it super light at the beginning. And not spending too long on these initial you know, on these initial sketches. Once you've created the line work, then you can slow right down and tidy it right up. Okay. Uh, oh, this is great. Then we go to Finn. Hi, go away, go away. Hello, Finn. There we go. So here is all about a dynamic pose. So we we started off with a construction line. 
and then we added in his basic torso shape, then his line work for his arms, and then drew on top of those lines to make it a bit more realistic. Um, as you see here, I started off with some basic line work and I built it up and the details came at the very end. I still got a bit of work to do on this. It'll eventually end up looking like that character there. And last but not least, we'll have these guys down here. All right, get rid of that guy too. So in this little session here, whole idea about these characters is that they got really simple shapes to use. And what I'll be doing if I was you is I'll be using the shapes of these characters and turning them into your own characters. So the challenge could be you could turn uh, the young boy into an old man. Um, or you can turn him into a ninja warrior, um, or the girl could be a secret agent. All you got to do is change the clothes. Uh, but just use, if you use the same shapes, you will be fine. Um, well, I think that should probably do it for now. I know I said 90 minutes, but um, my mouth is really dry, so I will probably do another one in the future. So if you do want me to do another one, I probably will, but you need to tell your friends. And um, so when I submit, when I send you out the invitations, you tell your mates and come along and, and watch the, the program. So thanks a lot for joining me today, and I hope you have a great weekend. And by all means, don't forget, if you want to critique, let me know. I'll send you through an email for a link. Um, but just keep following, and if you want, subscribe to, uh, I think it's a YouTube channel somewhere. It's going to be live. Oh, it's going to be on live very soon, so I would say give it about an hour for it to sort of render and go from there. So, um, yeah, any, any, if you've got any questions, post them in the forum. But this has been fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Where am I? Um, oh, hello. Here I am. So, yep, great stuff. Thanks, thanks for joining me.